Hello and welcome to the Brookmill Media Project. Today I'll be showing you how to make an origami camera that also makes a little shutter sound. So first of all, here are the instructions. Ignore this page, it didn't exist. And so there's like two pages of this. So here's the first. You can pause if you want to look. And here's the second. You can see all this stuff. And I'm gonna get started now. So what you'll need for this project is a piece of paper. That's it. A piece of paper so what you'll need to do is to fold diagonally open it up fold it diagonally again for the other side then you want to fold it in half What do you think you were doing? Okay, so we have another stubborn paper, it seems like. Okay. Then you want to do that to the other side. Okay. So now you have a paper with all the folds. So, then you want to fold your corners inside. Do it for the other sides and when not, you get the drill. I'm not a professional origami maker, so please chill about my terrible folding. So then once you have your you know folded paper, you wanna flip it. So now you have a square like this. And then you wanna do the same if you've ever made a fortune cook fortune teller you would know this but this is a fortune teller wrong video if you want to learn how to make a fortune teller go on another video you fold the corners all in it's get harder as it goes because there's more layers and it's thicker you know what i'm talking about i don't why am i explaining it okay so now you have this and then you want to turn it over one last time then you want to fold them in one more time yeah it's gonna get really tiny so just brace yourself at least there's little squares telling you where to go sometimes you need to take them out to make it easier to fold the other sides okay so now you have really really tiny little square it's really cute actually so then you want to flip it over so you have this side. Then I would suggest to choose the best two sides, I would say, minus this one. And then you want to fold them out. Like you want to take this part out and take this part out so you get a little, little looking square. Like that. A little rectangle. Yeah, that, yeah, right. That looks like a square. Totally. Okay. So then you want to do that to the other side. You pull this out and you pull the other one out. And then, boom. You have a little one. Now you want to keep it like this and then go under take these part out but keep this part like that and do that to the other side make sure the underside looks correct though then you want to pull these out and then go up so then now once you got that you want to pull put this in half and then you see how it folds up like that you want you that's very good we, we want this so now it looks like a beautiful pair of pants I know, right? It's beautiful, isn't it? Then, you want to open it back up, like this. Keep it down. Make sure to do this, if you want to keep it in place. And then put it back up. Put them, basically, make them kiss. more, And then fold it over, and then put the corners down. I hope you can see. Like, one, and two. And now, cheese! It does that, and then just put it back together. If I can. I can't do this, apparently. Thank you for watching my video. Bye! Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Brookdale Media Project. Today, I'll be showing you how to make your own magnifying glass. I give all my credits to the book Adventure Girls by Nicole Zagat. This book showed me how to make this amazing magnifying glass. The materials that you'll be needing today are some water, 
a plastic water bottle. It should be clear, empty, and smooth. Um, scissors, or you can also use a pocket knife. Um, either one you can use. And last but not least, you'll need something that you want to observe. I'm just going to use the book, just so I could show you how the letters are embiggened. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is take your water bottle and your pocket knife. First, take off the lock and push it forward just a little bit, and then push back the lock. Now, you want to cut off the end of the plastic water bottle. Scissors will also work for this, but I find using a pocket knife looks just slightly a bit more efficient. When you come to this end, you can either peel it off or you can use scissors. You can put this part aside and all you will need is this. You're done with your pocket knife now, so snap the lock off, push it back in, and put the safety back in place. Now, pour some water inside of this little petri dish. A little too much. Take what you want to observe. Look and see how the letters in begin. How this works according to this book. It says that this works because the water bends the light traveling through the plastic and makes the what you're observing look bigger. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Brookvale Media Project. Today we will tell you movies for grades K to 3. Let's get started. We will first be talking about Turbo, a snail who has a dream to become the world's greatest racer. He gets a chance to leave his slow life when someone gives him the power of super speed. Turbo has a quest in which he has to win the Indianapolis 500. Doesn't that seem quite interesting? I really want to watch this. Next we will be talking about the Bee movie. This movie is about Barry the Bee. After he finishes college, he thinks working with Honey is boring, so he flies out of the hive for the first time. By breaking a rule of his species, he finds out that humans have been stealing something important to the bees for a very long time. He wants justice so he gets an idea. But was that a good idea? You can find out by watching the movie. Finally, we will be telling you about the movie Christopher Robin. In this movie, Christopher Robin, a man who lives in London with his family, gets a surprise visit from his childhood friend, Winnie the Pooh, who was on a journey to find his lost friends and needed Christopher's help. After they all are back together, they try to help Christopher enjoy life again. Will it work? I am curious of what will happen. Aren't you? Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed. 
Come back next week for part 2, where we will tell you movies for grades 4 and above. Stay safe and don't watch too much TV. Bye.